Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. We are ready to inform you that the final stage of the training for the crew members is complete. It was complete completed yesterday. And the State Commission announced the results. I would like to introduce the crews present here, the commander of the Soyuz and ISS flight engineer Alexander Skvortsov, Russia, uh, flight engineer so uh, for the Soyuz and the ISS Oleg Artemyev from Roscosmos, Steven Swanson, FE2 for the Soyuz vehicle and commander for ISS-40, NASA. And also we have the backup crew, the commander of the Soyuz vehicle uh, and ISS, Alexander Semokutayev, ISS flight engineer Yelena Sirova, representing Roscosmos Russia, and also Barry Wilmer, a flight engineer for Soyuz, and the ISS. 6,000 flight hours. And how many landings? International Space Federation crew members who prepare for the first mission receive their personal IDs of a crew member. So we have prepared an ID number 142 for, for, and it's International Aeronautical Federation ID. The information is in English and in Russian and an address in five languages with a request to help this person in emergency situations. So I would like to give this ID to Oleg Artemyev, and it's a great pleasure. There you go. Picture time. Could you please shake hands? A little bit closer, please. You're so needy. Thank you, thank you. Is that right? And right then, Soyuz 6, Soyuz 7 and 8 crews came to this office and started the logbook for the crews. So this is volume two. It's the most important uh, book from our museum and we would like to keep uh, those short uh, phrases, sentences written by crew members before launch for future generations. And during your uh, expedition, you will be celebrating great holidays. Is docking. Thank you so much. Relatives, uh, staff, thank you so much. Thank you. It's just great.
Here is Gagarin's tomb. Gagarin's plaque. Steve Swanson, Expedition 39, Flight Engineer and Commander of Space Station Expedition 40. Steve, we're here at Red Square in the Kremlin. You are complete. You've just completed your final exams at Star City. Can you talk a little bit about what kind of things they threw at you and what difficulties and challenges you faced and mm. how you got through that? Yes, yeah, so it was two days of exams. The first day as uh, Russian segment exam uh, on the space station. And it consisted of doing a bunch of uh, normal tasks during the daytime and then followed up by about five failures we had and the big one being a fire case on board. And then the second day was on the Soyuz where you did the whole launch, uh, rendezvous and landing with multiple failures again on that. Uh, again, the last one being a depressure of the vehicle. Uh, so it was the most difficult cases they could kind of throw at you, but we did them all well and we passed and we're ready to go fly. Right. And six months ago, you were here at this very spot as a backup crew member. And six months have gone by, you've done more training, you have more preparation. Talk about your feelings now, how you're feeling as you get closer to your launch, and this is your time here at Red Square, and how do you, how differently do you feel than you did six months ago? Well, I definitely feel better about this. Uh, six months ago, it was just a process to go through and, and kind of see what I was gonna do later on, I guess, on the flow. But now that I'm here, I'm definitely looking forward to launching and getting to the space station and start doing some work up there. And you're going to be here in uh, Russia. You're going to be leaving for Baikonur, Kazakhstan on March 13th. What What is your remaining time in Russia consist of, and what are going to be some of the first things that you'll be doing in Baikonur? Well, the remaining time here is mostly relaxing, but I will have to do a lot of other stuff to get ready for going down there, get everything packed up, organized, that kind of stuff. And then we get to Baikonur. Uh, on the second day we're there, we do a fit check, which means we go into the actual vehicle, uh, check it out, see where our stuff is going to be, uh, put some uh, like Velcro up wherever we need it, and things like that, kind of arrange it how we want it to be for our flight. Okay, <laughs> need he was serious. <laughs> 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 